is your family's or your personal uh, tradition. Oh, did, you, did you hear that? Wow. All right, everybody, we're gonna get, we're gonna get to these boxes here in a little bit, but first, time to go chase down some vertical. That's right, all right, here we go. Oh my my. So I know I've been running a lot in uh, the Pig 36 trails and the Terra Kiger 5s uh, recently, and yes, I have them both again for today's trail run, not on grass. Uh, but just so, just so you know, I'm still very excited about the Wild Horse 5s. I just haven't had a chance to run in them much lately. And the Peg 36 trails just have a little more cushion compared to the Wild Horse 5s. Um, but the fit of the Wild Horse 5 through the upper, it's just, I don't even know. I, I think it beats out both of these. I'll just say that much. It, it, there's something about, it's a little more, it's not quite as nimble. I think uppers that are a little too nimble uh, create a loosey goosey feel through your foot, like locking down. So anyway, I love the Wild Horse 5, but just so you know, I haven't forgotten about it. All right, here we go. Where are my keys? Here we are. coming to Mount Falcon Park, a very standard trail run just outside of Denver. And if you're coming to Denver on a business trip and you just need something real quick, you can't travel far into the mountains, this is a good option. Just don't come here on a holiday or a weekend. It's a little crazy uh, as it is right now, but I would highly recommend just checking out Mount Falcon if you need some dirt and vertical. I'm, I think it's around a couple thousand feet of vertical from the bottom to the top. Maybe a little more. I, I'll have to look that up for you. But uh, anyway, now we just got to find a parking spot. And I see one. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. That's our money right there, right there, right there. And yes, I am going to give away a pair or two of my own shoes that, uh, so you know the size. Uh, so if you're bigger foot, sorry about that. But uh, just to make room for this running warehouse haul, and uh, shoes that, you know, just haven't really jumped out at me, but would be great for somebody that, you know, needs a pair of shoes and needs help getting out the door in something that probably, I think the ones that I'm thinking of uh, have, I'm guessing about 20 to 30 miles at the most. I know one pair actually has, I think just one run. So we will get those out to uh, someone in need here in a little bit. All right, let's go, Mount Falcon. Right, that's impressive. <laughs> I've been I've been humbled at Mount Falcon. That guy was going down the trail on a unicycle. Oh my goodness. Just so everyone knows, it's 3.7 miles from the parking lot to the top. All right. Oh, it's a beautiful day up here. Time to go back down.
haven't been able to say this for a while. I'll get you the stats for that run back at the shooty. Oh, yeah. Super psych, not at the studio, at the skate park. All right, here goes Joseph. Whoa, holy smokes. I had no clue he could do that. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm just grateful to be a runner. I never really liked the adrenaline sports, if you will. I used to snowboard a lot, but uh, man, skate parks and me just never really got along, if you know what I mean. All right. successful trip to the skate park and uh, loading it up now all right look out bud here it comes Wah. whoa save the camera see you at the house <laughs> didn't go quite as planned didn't go as planned and here we go ladies and gentlemen the running warehouse hall my boys are gonna help they're gonna bring the boxes to me and yes for your perusing a pleasure, I have linked to all these shoes down below in the description. So if you're like, just now, obviously I haven't run in them yet, I'm just opening them now, but if you're convinced I want this pair of shoes, you can go down below in the description and check them out at Running Warehouse. All right, thank you, Seth. All right, here's one pair. All right, here we go. Do you, here, Joseph, you can actually bring them all right now. Let's bring, you bring it, bring it right now. All right, bring one and then bring the other one. Just bring one and then bring the other one. Thank you. All right. And Joseph, if you want to stand here, you can stand here wherever you want to stand. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Where are we going to start? We'll start on top. And frankly, happy 4th of, of July. That's right. All right. Here we go. I got my trusty knife. This is a knife that my high school buddy made for me. Uh, well, when I was in high school, it's, a, it's an Elkhorn. So I always use it to uh, open up the boxes here. All right, boys. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh. I have a sense as to the company. Here we go. Oh. Kind of Do you know what? Do you know what company this is? Solomon. Solomon. Okay, look at that. All right, let's open the box for everybody. These are. Can you believe it? These are the Solomon Super Cross. Oh my goodness! So not the Speed Cross, okay? All right, so we got the Solomon. Super Cross, a lineup from Solomon that I've never worn before, all right? Look at that blue. Oh my goodness, oh, it feels really good. All right, so it's a very, it's a lighter version compared to the Speed Cross. Oh, let me just take this out. Hold on here. All right, and moving on to shoe number two. Here we go. So that was the Solomon Super Cross. All right, it's in the house. Hoka, hoka, oh yeah. I actually don't recall what these are, so let's see here. They are Hoka's. They are Hoka's. Boom. Oh, yeah. The Hoka Rincon. The Hoka Rincon. Look at those. Look at those. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. That is lightweight. Oh, my goodness. So, Hoka Rincon now in the house. Oh, man. Let's see here. Just make sure we got the right size. Oh yeah, got the right size, so those right here, coming out our ears here. Next okay, one. next box, here we go. This is exciting. All right, box number three. Oh, hold on. All right, boys, you watch out for this knife. It's wheeling and dealing here. Okay, oh, oh my. Oh. Do you know what color that is? Red! That's a New Balance, the NB there, okay. Woo! New balance, new balance. Okay, you want to open? Whoa, those look like stickers. You guys can have those. Oh, yes, I forgot about this. Okay, so, oh my, my. The New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel, I believe is the full name. Yes, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. Oh my goodness, a, a knit upper. Look at that, that is cool. What do you think? Is that pretty neat? Oh, this is exciting, this is exciting. Box number four. Box number four, box number four. All right, here we go, one more box. Oh, hold on, 
grab this guy. All right, box number four coming at you. Oh, oh, here we go. Mizuno in the house. Mizuno, we got the Wave Shadow 3 from Mizuno. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that, everyone. Okay, so this is the Mizuno Wave Shadow 3. Uh, it's a Mizuno. You can just tell by the midsole. A lighter option to the R2 that I have. And uh, so I am now, this is the third Mizuno of 2019. So Mizuno is making a little bit of a inroads into my running shoe rotation. So that's exciting. So this is the Mizuno Wave Shadow 3. Uh, let me just soak it in for a second here. All right, everyone. So I am beyond excited to try out all of these, all of these running shoes for you. Oh, a new shoe. Uh, obviously, I don't need all these shoes, but I'm doing it to test them for you so you can make sound decisions in your running shoe purchases. Uh, and so therefore, I'm going to go inside, look at the collection, and see what I can give away. Again, my size is seven and a half men's, so uh, I'm going to go in and see if I can find at least one pair, maybe two, to give away to someone in need. All right, let's do that. Does that sound good, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Come on. All right, here we go. Coming in. Coming quick. All right, there it is. We're going to go with the On Cloud Flash racing shoes, actually. This is ons if you never heard of on they're a company out of switzerland and it's just spelled o-n and these are their racing flats and i've tried them i actually like them but i know that they're designed i would say for a an athlete who knows they can stay healthy no matter what uh, i just think they need a little more cushion uh, for me personally so therefore i'm not going to use them really at all, I'm not gonna use them at all moving forward um, as far as this uh, model from on. So therefore, whoever can reach out to me in the next you know, two to three hours via email, my email's down below, I will then email, and you have to have a size seven and a half men's. I don't actually, well, if there's a lady out there who wears a size nine, this would fit you, but just know it's a wide, it's a men's sizing, so it's wide. So anyway, it'd probably be more, it'd make more sense to give it to a guy. And if you email me your story, uh, some pictures of your current running shoes, somebody that just is struggling to buy a racing flat uh, for the summer uh, road racing season, these will treat you really, really well. And uh, all right, also, remember my commitment at 100,000 subscribers, all right? I haven't forgotten about it. I know we're a long ways off, but we made a nice leap forward in the past week, and we're just gonna continue to chase that goal down, uh, because when this happens, a haul from Running Warehouse, four pairs of shoes, uh, I wanna be able to give back to all of you, to those in need, to high schoolers, college students, working professionals that are trying to pay off 100,000 in student debt. You know who you are out there. And uh, so that is the goal at 100K. We will get there at some point. I love you. All right, we are off to a 4th of July party. And we're back for the 4th of July party. Got a little crazy. There were tornado warnings and hail and all sorts of stuff. So we called it early. We're back at the house and just awaiting the local fireworks show, if you know what I mean. Okay, just real quick. Once again, the Mizuno Wave Shadow 3 arrived. You see the weight on your screen right now. The Mizuno Wave Shadow 3. That's the weight for this guy. The Hoka Rincon. Oh, lightweight. Hoka Rincon right there. Weight on your screen as well in ounces and grams. And then we've got a new Solomon that I've never worn before. And you know how I love Solomon. The Solomon Supercross. Yes, Solomon Supercross. You see the weight as well. I'm... I'm actually a little surprised at how it feels in the hand just as far as build quality goes. So stay tuned for my first run in the Solomon Supercross there. And then last but not least, least the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. A lot of people have been raving about this shoe, about the ride, about the fit, so I'm excited. Definitely a road shoe, and once again, there is the weight on your screen for this guy. With that said, I just realized these are kind of a red, white, and blue combo for the 4th of July, and we're gonna go with Independence 
for the keyword independence. And yes, the question of the day. I love talking about shoes. I love talking about running and training, but probably most of all, I just love getting to know all of you better. So question of the day, what is your family's or your personal uh, tradition? Oh, did, you, did you hear that? Wow. Okay. What is your family tradition for the 4th of July? Or if you're outside the United States, does your country, like what do you do for your country's Independence Day? All right, and I think that does it for today. We're gonna call it there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Say beauty, work hard, love each other. All right, all right, see you tomorrow.